Hey, what's going on everybody? Mike here with Infinity Personal Training and today is your Technique Tuesday. Today I'm going to be going over the stability ball squat. This is a great exercise if you're dealing with any low back pain or knee pain. Uh, it allows you to get into that squatting position and load the legs. So let's get right into it. We're going to just need our stability ball, some wall space, and again, if you want to load the squat, you can use a dumbbell as well. So when we're doing this, we want to make sure, especially if we have low back pain, we want to make sure our low back is supported by the stability ball. So we want it to be kind of on our hips and low back. A lot of the times I see people put it up too high and that makes us lean up forward. So we want to make sure it's kind of nice and low right on those hips and into that low back just a little bit. Then, like I said, if we want to load that squat, we can hold the dumbbell just kind of right here, goblet uh, style here, right under our chin. And then we're going to walk our feet out. A lot of the times I see people are in too far where there's knees are going real, real far and we're putting a lot of stress on the front of those knees. We want to be out in front and then we're just going to drop down, keeping our chest up like we're sitting down into a chair. So most of the weight is back on my heels, chest is up, and I'm keeping that chin up, just coming down. And then notice my low back is still supported by the stability ball. I'm not leaning forward and my knees aren't jutting over my toes. And then I just drive up. And then again, like all of our squats, we want to kind of finish with our hips, nice big squeeze, and then we control it going down as well. All right, and so we'll try that out. It's gonna take a lot of stress off that low back and knees. Great way to start out if you're new to working out. And so yeah, hope you guys enjoy that one. We'll see you again on another Technique Tuesday. Take care.